How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and everything relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And things have been great lately for MCU fans. Phase 4 of the MCU has officially started. We are waiting for the next episode of WandaVision this Friday. And we finally have some leaked photos for Thor Love and Thunder involving the actual actors, not just of the set. And even though just simply seeing the actors back on set in their costumes is super exciting, it actually does look like we have at least one big reveal from these leaked set photos about Thor himself. Now in this photo right here we have Star-Lord and Thor together which was expected when we last left the two of them in Avengers Endgame at the end. Thor left with the Guardians of the Galaxy so it would only make sense that Thor Love and Thunder picked up right after where Avengers Endgame left off. Or at least not too long after it. They may have gotten into some shenanigans already but we're definitely going to join them when Thor is with the Guardians. And as you can see here Star-Lord has somewhat of a new look. He's now rocking a pretty long cloak that looks looks really awesome. He has some gauntlets on. He has some type of shoulder pads on. Overall, just a really upgraded cool look. And Thor looks kind of retro and he actually looks like he's almost kind of wearing his original OG Thor costume with the blue pants and the yellow boots. Perhaps the whole entire original outfit will come together at some point in Thor Love and Thunder. Now, possibly the biggest thing to take away from this photo is that Chris Hemsworth is not wearing a Thor fat suit. He is in shape. No CGI effect on him, anything like that. He's not wearing a mocap suit, so it looks like Thor is back in shape. This is something that we'll most likely see at the very beginning of the movie. And Star-Lord is most likely going to join him on this fitness journey as well, if you consider the fact that in Avengers Endgame, all the other Guardians were kind of making fun of Star-Lord for being out of shape. So Thor, being fat and out of shape, was probably really funny for Star-Lord to see, but of course when Thor starts to get back in shape, Star-Lord is going to want to be pretty competitive with him, and he's going to want to be the one in better shape. And judging based off of what director Taika Waititi said about how the film is going to be, I wouldn't be surprised if we got some sort of a workout montage in the beginning of the film with Thor and Star-Lord working out together trying to get into shape. Now of course Thor is the god of thunder and an Asgardian, so he could probably get back in shape in like a day or two, whereas Star-Lord doesn't really have that. So expect some funny moments there. But another thing to notice is that Thor looks very retro, almost like an 80s style type of vibe going on here, and this is most likely due to him listening to Star-Lord's music, or perhaps just new music in general that Star-Lord and Thor get into together, but we know music is a big part for Star-Lord, and Taika likes to go very big with the music, so this retro look is very suiting for Thor. Thor's hair has been cut a little bit, it's not nearly as long as Fat Thor in Avengers Endgame, and it's no longer braided like it was. Overall, it kind of looks like Thor has basically gotten his life back together. Now, as far as the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy are concerned, it's pretty much confirmed that they are all going to be in Thor Love and Thunder, and we even have this leaked set photo of Nebula, confirming that she will indeed be in the movie. I think she was the only one we didn't have confirmation for, except for Gamora. We're still not sure if Zoe Saldana is going to appear in Thor Love and Thunder. We know that she'll probably appear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, but we're still not sure about Thor Love and Thunder. But the rest of the Guardians are there. Nebula doesn't look too different. It almost looks like she's wearing slightly different clothes. But based off of this leaked set photo, it's hard to tell if this is actually a part of the costume or if it's just Karen Gillan or her stunt double casually walking around the set trying to be comfortable. Then in this last leaked set photo, we have Sean Gunn in the left side of the photo. He's partly cut off, but Sean Gunn, the brother of James Gunn, the director of the Guardians films, who does the mocap for Rocket Raccoon. But if you look at him in this photo, he is dressed in his usual gear, leading me to believe that he is actually going to be playing Kraglin. And that's pretty interesting because we didn't see Kraglin in Infinity War or Guardians of the Galaxy. But in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, it did look like he was going to be a part of the Guardians. He even had Yondu's arrow at the end, so it looked like he was going to play a pretty big role in Guardians 3. Now again, he's slightly cut off, but you can see that something is on top of his head. This could be something that he's wearing to control the arrow, much like Yondu wore his fin. We'll have to wait till the movie to find out, but it does look like Kraglin will be a part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And last but not least, there is some crazy type of car in this photo. 
Now this kind of does seem to be like it's used for filming, it's a filming vehicle, but who knows, Taika Waititi did say that Thor Love and Thunder was going to be bigger than Thor Ragnarok, and it's already confirmed that we're going to be having some space sharks in the movie as well. So if some crazy cool space cars showed up, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. So there you have it, our first leaked photos for Thor Love and Thunder. Thor is back in shape and still with the Guardians of the Galaxy, so let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen in Thor Love and Thunder, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Thor 4 news. Don't forget to like the video, and for live updates, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.